take a look at some of the things you can do when working with imported model, right? So this is an imported model, as you can see in my feature tree. So before um, I get started, I can run the diagnostic tool to heal any faulty faces, right? After that, when I'm setting up a study, let's say a static study, and I try to mesh this part to the default mesh size, um, I get the error, fail to mesh the part, right? So I can go to mesh failure diagnostics and try to apply mesh control. But since it's an imported part, I want to first run geometry check. So you can use the check tool under evaluate that checks the model for geometry errors, like invalid spaces, uh, minimum radius of curvature, etc. Or you can run a more stringent test geometry analysis to identify any sliver faces, knife edges, etc. So running through this, we have um, detected a sliver face and two knife edges. So what I can do is uh, try to fix that faulty face. So I can go to my um, delete face command and then select the faces that I need to get rid of. So these are the two faces I need to delete and patch. So I can use the delete and patch command here to fix the bad face and then go back and try to create the mesh. I like to use the curvature-based mesh uh, because it automatically resizes the element size based on the geometry. So now we have a successful mesh. Another example is that of this phone. It's an old model. If you look closely, we have the logo here. And these cut extrude features are very small compared to the rest of the model. So meshing will be a challenge even if I try to apply mesh control. So what I could do is use the tool to identify small features and suppress them right before meshing. If you right click on the mesh, we have an option simplify model for meshing. You can specify a simplification factor here, and then you can select the features that you need to suppress. So it has identified all the features that fall within this simplification factor. You can do this by feature-based or volume-based. And then you can definitely go here and deselect the ones you need to keep. And then you can add a derived configuration right here when you suppress the features. So very easily, you can write within simulation, suppress certain features uh, based on your specification here to simplify the model. So right here, it has added this derived configuration. And now this is a simple model that can be meshed very easily.